What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening. Uh, we're going to be opening up some Evolution tins. So we got these from a Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal on Walmart, and they had these Evolution tins for $10 each. Uh, we weren't able to snag any Vaporeons, but we do have Flareon and Jolteon. Um, Evolutions are always popular, and especially with the uh, stuff from Cosmic Eclipse, where a lot of people, some people are trying out these decks where they have the Evolutions that buff up the GX Evolutions. Uh, I feel like Glaceon is the best target right now but uh, you never know maybe we could potentially use these cards in a deck so we're actually opening up four of these tins two of each and reminder we do have a giveaway going on for our 800 sub celebration thank you everyone for helping us get to this huge milestone we're going to be giving away etb whether it's uh, cosmic clips or hidden fades it's up to you uh, so definitely go check out that giveaway video to make sure you're entered we will pick the winner wednesday morning so you don't have too much time um, but uh, all right let's get into these tins okay before we can begin i just want to give a shout out to andy rg on instagram he does have a youtube channel as well link it down below i did purchase some cards from him off of their instagram and I've said in the past that I'm not a big fan of buying stuff off, off social media like Instagram or Facebook. Uh, but this Andy is someone that has been part of the PokeTuber community and definitely someone I trust. And oh boy, I'm a sucker for vintage cards. So when I saw these, it's like, there was a handful. It's like, all right, give me all the Watsy ones. I think there was only one that uh, was already sold. Was like, all right, I'll take all of them. So shout out to you. De check out the Instagram and they post a good amount of deals. So I'll probably get in there for some more. Uh, one thing I will say about this product, I actually like this product. You know, it's rare that a sealed product is actually worth it, in my opinion. Um, so quick, I actually like that it's a smaller tin. It's easier to store, and I feel like it could actually be useful. The other tins are a little bit too big, and I wonder if I could use this to store, like, dice and stuff when I go to League and whatnot. Just the odd shape doesn't make it good for storing actual cards. So we opened two tins. We're going to open two more after this, this first half of the opening. But here are the two promos. So I, you know, the Pokemon, they kind of like reprinted these because boom, there are Cosmic Eclipse packs in here. So this product is kind of like a reprint, maybe like the third time they've had this. But because of those Evolution cards, you know, I do think that's a good idea. If anyone want to try to make the deck, it's like, oh, well, can't really get those hit like those uh the sealed products anymore that feature these promos so it does give that a way to do that there is xy and crimson vagin which i'm very much not a fan of but uh you know especially for that sale price of ten dollars each i am very happy with this purchase although obviously it was like a black friday kind of thing so you can't always get at that price but for what we paid i'm very satisfied with the amount of stuff that we got and the pack selection so let's get into our first pack we have Azumarill, the dual type is interesting. Nosepass, Sneasel, Litleo, and wait, Steelix, Spirit Link, Reverse, and then just a Clawitzer. So nothing there. Kind of turn through these guys pretty quick and then uh, eventually get to our Cosmic Eclipse. So you do make sure you enter that giveaway. All you have to do to be qualified to enter is be a subscriber and uh, just follow the instructions from that video. Again, they'll be linked down below. And all right, let's get through this pack. Larvesta, Abe Ambipom, and a Amoongus. So nothing from this XY packs, but that's okay. Crimson Invasion. One card I wouldn't mind is a Guzzlord GX. Um, sometimes when we're playing at leagues it would just play like kind of like joke decks and the guzzlord deck which you know at a minimum all you need is like one guzzlord and dark energy uh, obviously it can be improved from there but uh just kind of a fun thing to play just with that eat sloppily into i don't remember its attack that does 180 pretty simple combo altaria and Slazzle. Is this the one? Oh, I do like this card too. Um, you basically drop poison for one energy and it does four damage per turn as well as nasty plot just to tutor up any cards. I feel like a lot of people at League like the poison decks and I feel like that's a good addition to it. Very efficient, lightweight. Alright, so two white code cards from these Crimson Invasion packs. Uh, be nice if we got an ultra rare though. Grumpig. 
a Mawile, Emolga, Salandit, Cubone, Phoebus, Shellos, Funnel B, Jangmo O is our reverse, and then Alolan Marowak. All right, let's get to four of these Cosmic Clips, and then we actually have, we're going to do the same exact thing again, opening up those other two tins. All right, the code card is facing back. Good, Good to know. Although there have been occasions where you find a green code card and it's still got something good in there. Mallow Lana, good card. Set that off to the side. Relic. Scroll. Pikachu. Teddy Ursa. Ooh, Misty Lorelei Reverse. And then a Zatu. Let's see, we can put that in that pile. So, stuff we're looking for Cosmic Eclipse. I think we have all the cards that we kind of like need. Um, so I think at that point, any of the secret rare useful, like, uh, trainers and stuff like that, definitely wouldn't mind picking more of those. Always happy to find a Blastoise Piplup tag team. Great catcher, nice. Rowlet, Lillipup, Scrub, a Pikachu, Sveal is our reverse. Ooh, Charizard breaks in, very nice. Find a sleeve for you real quick. Still haven't built a Charizard tag team deck. IRL, although it is my fav it's one of my favorite decks to play on PTCGO, especially the, the greens version of it. Keep doing that. But yeah, actually, if we kind of turn this into a review episode as well, um, you know, if you can get this at a very, like a sale price, you know, whether it's 25% off or 50% off, uh, I think this is a very good product uh, in, full MSRP which I'm guessing would be 20 um I would say it's not bad cottony ooh Rosa is pretty good the Flareon Evolution I feel like does have some potential the Jolteon one feels a little weaker but that Bright Flare for especially if you have the Jolteon buffer only cost two fire energy. You do have to discard them, but for 190 damage. So it could be like a turn two sneak attack. Actually, it could be if you go second. It could be turn one. Oh no, you can't evolve. Never mind. And ooh, Blacephalon, not bad. All right, we're gonna open up the other two tins. Be right back. All right, here's a couple more code cards. If you do want to try to build your own Evolution GX deck, and a couple more promos. All right, then we have two more sets. Uh, Steam Siege again, which is, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's get into this. If you guys haven't hit that like button down below, I would appreciate if you did so. It does, as always, help the channel grow, help us reach new viewers and stuff like that. And uh, if you haven't caught any of our live streams, if you do play the PTCGO game, definitely encourage you to join our live stream. Uh, we do giveaways throughout our stream for um, basically packs on on PTCGO. Shoutouts to Garfield that basically hooks us up with super generous, uh, basically donates to the stream uh, as far as giving us lots of packs. And we usually end up giving almost all of them away. All right, Amber Palm, but yeah, whenever we see like, oh, Garfield has sent you a trade off, like, oh boy, here we go. Let's start the giveaways. Nose Pass, Sneasel is our reverse. All right, so all whiffs, four whiffs on the XY series. Crimson Invasion, we haven't gotten too much either. Alright, Mill Tank, Zuelis, Devoured Field, Salandit, Phoebus, a Cubone, Shellos, Bunnel B, a Registeel, and Type Null.
All right, last of the Crimson Invasion before we get to Cosmic Eclipse. Gastrodon. These guys are interesting. They're always together. Fighting Memory. Geodude Dino. A Shellos. Corefish. Another Corefish. And, oh, a Ranguru. So nothing on... That's all right. You know what? I guess if we wanted hits, uh, ideally it would be in Cosmic Eclipse. So let's do this. Let's get another one of them Charizards. Maybe of the rainbow variety. Would be that is something we haven't pulled yet, and something we won't. We probably won't pick up off the secondary market as it is the most expensive card. Tag call, very nice. Dark tricks, sand true, a snow runt, coughing, drillbur, swirlix. Halo Sand is a reverse rare, okay. And then Cradilly. Opponents affect special conditions can't retreat. Hmm. Fortunately, it's a stage two. So if you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing so you do get updated on all of our updates. Uh, upcoming content obviously we do tons of openings like this Ooh, call signal that's actually a good card and my cargo and then we have a lot of other series where we kind of like look at the cards that are up and coming or to uh, coming to us in the future a lot of sword and shield cards those are apps so many like insane cards a lot of ramp up a lot of ramp down cards should be very interesting come February we also do market videos and stuff like that. So uh, definitely go check those out if you want to see if you're interested in the series. And then consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys, last pack. Um, I would say pretty good product, but not a great opening. All we have to show for it is a handful of useful uncommons and a Charizard breaks in as our only hit. So disappointed on our pulls, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the purchase especially at that sale rate. All right, Roxy, last pack, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. Thanks again for getting us to that 800 subs. It's really, really, um, yeah, I just feel so happy that we managed to get there and looking forward to the future. Our last pack, ooh, Buzzwall. I'm not sure how many of these we have. Oh, this is another card that I feel like had some potential, but uh, ultimately it has not amounted to much. But for just two energy and with a little bit of heal, which is not that relevant, it's probably unlikely he'll sustain any kind of hit. Uh, but basically, he basically gets stronger as you go. Let's say you have, you know, four prize, that's 80. So 80 damage, so 140 for two energy. You know, it's pretty cool. I like that mechanic, but ultimately he's just not strong enough. Um, but anyway guys, that's it. As always guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Make sure you enter the giveaway. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.